Excuse me, can I ask you a question? I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. Uh, I'm gonna follow his lead, that's for sure. Uh, 
we're thanking God for seasons such as what we are now dealing with. All right. I, I think we uh, are somewhat off. And when I say that, we're off the mark because I think a lot of us think that a lot of the things that are happening are, are orchestrated by, by Satan himself. Not all of them. Trust me. God is in the midst of some of the things that are going on because the people of God need to get back in line. Right. Uh, we need to get back to the old stumping ground, the, the praying ground. We need to get back where we once was, that we lifted him up no matter what the conditions were. Because we in a situation and in a time now that we need God. Amen. Amen. And I'm serious about that. We need God. Yes. And, and nothing else is going to work. Nothing else is going to do the job. Only God is capable of fixing uh, that which needs to be fixed in our lives right now and that is around us. So so, so I, 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 I plead with you today to, to understand that, that God wants your heart. God, God wants you. He, he, he got something for you and you only with your name on it. Mm. Aren't you glad can't nobody else get your gift? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, yes, sir. I, don't, I don't care how hard they try, they cannot get it. Yes. It has your name on it. It is, it is yours. But you got to fight to get it. The kingdom of God suffered violence, but it is the violence that take it by force. So I want to talk to you uh, today briefly from this thought, the place. Say the place. the place. It is so important to, to understand the place. Because where, the, where it all took place at was at the place. And, and, and from that, we are all right now are sitting in heavenly places in earthly vessels. Right now, we are sitting here enjoying life because of where it happened at. And we were not there at the scene. We, we were nowhere around. But guess what? Because of the connection it made us a part of what happened at the place that's right you know and they mostly say well, well were you at the place no I, I didn't see you no i wasn't there but i had a representative there right. so as we look at this today i want you to see that all of this was 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 predicted and not only predicted but prophesied that that it was going to go down even the time and now what we're, we're living in now it was already spoken that these times will come. These are tough times. These are hard times. It's, it's getting more difficult now than it had ever been. There are things happening now that you would have never thought would happen. They're happening now. Because if you don't realize it now, you're going to realize it pretty soon. He is on his way back. Christ is soon to come. Now, I'm not going to stand here and tell you I know when he's coming because I don't. But I can tell you this much, the signs are visible. Yes. You know, if you ever did extensive travel, uh, especially in, in, in a vehicle, you know when you're getting close to where you're supposed to be. Right. You start seeing some recognizable signs, yes. some signs that you can relate to. There are some things that God wants us to relate to. To let us know that don't you be caught off guard. Oh don't, don't you be one of them that get lost. Yes. Don't burn all your oil up now. Because you're going to need some for later. Because you, 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 you don't know. You don't, you don't know what's going on around. You think you know. You don't know. You know the enemy is lurking. The enemy is, is, is seeking and, and he's searching out. For those that have fallen by the wayside. Look at today and say, not me. Not me. And you, you better mean that. Fight, fight with everything you got. I am not gonna be the one he's looking for. And when he run up on me, he ain't gonna wanna run up on me no more. I know that's right. So you have to understand that this is this is time to fight. Do you have your warfare clothes on? Are you ready to go to battle? See, I'm not talking about the playground. I'm talking about the battleground. There's a difference on the playground. When you get tired of playing, you can go home. On the battleground, you can't get tired of fighting. You, you got to fight to, to your bond. And, and winning is in your in your view. I can see it. The songwriter on a song says, look like I can see the breaking of day. Come on, come on. 
Come on. So it, it, it looks like I can see the, the break of the day coming down through time and, and, and looking at what has happened to me and looking back over my life. And, and it tells me that God is getting ready to do something. Oh, and, and when he get ready to do something, I'm going to advise all of us, we better stand back and let him have his way. Because he's going to do some bashing. Satan got something coming. And, and it's about time for him to get it. Would you agree with me? Yeah, it's about time for him to get his down. God has something for him. Will you please go with me to Luke chapter number 23. And the old world, the whole world is full with many, many places. And these places does not necessarily represent very much to you and I. But the beauty of them is outstanding. I've gone to some places that, that were breathtaking. The, the, the beauty of them, one of the places was, was Paris. I've, I've never seen buildings that were built in the 15 and 1600s look newer than the buildings today. What did they do to make those buildings remain their, their, their look like that? It's amazing. Uh, some of the places you go, see, if you have never gone anywhere to see anything different from what you see, you can't appreciate the beauty of it. But when you can go and see some things that, that you've never seen before, and, and, and you're like, man, what's going on? Because whether you realize it or not, everywhere you go and, and, and everything you encounter, it should leave something on you, some kind of impression. It should leave with you that God had his hand in this. And, and I believe that the things that we go through in life, I know God got his hand in it. Because the writer said, it had not been for the Lord on my side. Come on, come on, come on. See, this is how I know it, God got this thing. I don't care how it look. I don't care how you feel. God got this in control. If you would let him go ahead and handle his business, and you get out of the way, he'll fix some things for you. Yes, he will. He'll straighten out some things for you. Your life will be totally different, you know. And the life that you live now, it, it's not, it can't even be compared to what God got for you. In fact, I tell you what the scripture says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor have it entered the hearts of man. The good things God has in store for those who love him and those who are called according to his purpose. You got purpose today. Yes. Your purpose is, is visible today. And, and the devil know it. That's why he's striking at you so much. It, it, it seems like with some of you all, like the battle will not lighten up. It won't, it won't stop. The, the devil won't go away. Every time you shoo him off, he'll come right back. But you got to keep going. You got Because if you keep on resisting him, he has to flee. Maybe you ain't resisting. Have y'all thought about that? Maybe the reason he's always after you is because you're not putting up a big enough fight. Or you're not fighting hard enough. <laughs> you see, the devil don't play fair. Pick up that Bible and slam him with it. Because he's going to pick up something and slam you with it. <laughs> He don't mind using anything he gets his hand on. But thanks be to God because we have weaponry that is not carnal. They're spiritual. They're mighty. And they're made for pulling down stronghold. If you are, happen to be in a stronghold today, there's a weapon for that stronghold. As of today, you can, re be, you can be relieved of a stronghold today. That's up to you. Well, it's, it, it's actually like a little code. You know, would you ask the Lord to pick up a household and call room 8216, please? <laughs> yeah, it's the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Uh, no, 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 just the Lord. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> right? Thank you. 
very nice, huh? I made it myself. Oh, preacher. You were speaking through him. That's right. Why are we here? In Las Vegas? I have my reasons. Don't question them. You're in enough trouble already. Can I get out of it? You made a deal with the devil. How dumb could you be? I didn't know it was the devil. You're not talking to your sixth grade teacher, you know. To me, you were a star because you had decency. Now you're just an artifact. You're ridiculous. I know. I didn't know that then, but I know that now. Gave you hints all the time. The music. It was you. Each time. That's right. I've been watching you. Why? Ask your father. the the highest, the top, the best praise. My brothers and sisters in Christ, hear the words that I'm about to tell you and take heed. The Lord showed me something when I was 15 years old and it just now came back to my memory. If you live in Las Vegas, look around you. Look at the mountain range that surrounds you, that encircles you. For these mountains are the rim of the world's greatest and biggest volcano. My brethren, listen to me. Get out of her. Get out of Las Vegas. The Lord is going to do a mighty work in this city. He's going to destroy it as he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Please, do not move here. Do not come here. Do not partake in her sins. Your brother in Christ, Christopher. Amen. Thank you for watching The Heads and Not the Tails. And a special thanks to Soaring Badger Productions. In Jesus' name, repent and be saved. Hallelujah. Amen.